hello this is just a quick tutorial to teach you a little bit about equalization and how it can improve your sound so I'm going to show you a quick little excerpt from one of my songs here this is one of my ARPs that I programmed and I'll play this for you real quick Now what I notice is um, when people were posting their music, you know, on online forums and that, and one thing I notice is people aren't equalizing their instruments, instead they're equalizing the entire mix. Now while you, it is important to equalize your entire mix for your own custom sound, it's also just as important to equalize your instruments so that you don't muddy up your sound and have too many frequencies peaking at one, you know, certain point on the frequency range. So I'm just going to show you real quick what I do to uh, cut out muddy frequencies, especially in the lower areas, and uh, give my customize my sound just a little more. But first I stick the gain all the way up, and I give it a really thin needle like this, and I know there's always going to be a sore spot right around this area, so I'll search around that with the frequency mod. It's peaking there. The frequency is peaking there. So, you know, so that we can avoid that muddying up our mix in the lower end, what we're going to do is just take this down a little bit. And now, what I can do with the rest of this is just customize this how I want. Don't try to over equalize your stuff too much because it'll give it a goofy sound. Like, say, if I was to do this. Has a goofy sound. You gotta be careful not to you know, over equalize it, or you might not end up with the sound you intended. And now we have a nice, cleaner sounding sync than we had before. And I'll bypass this off and on to show you the difference. Now it might be a little difficult if you don't work too much with music, you can't hear the, uh, the lower frequencies peaking out there, but whenever you play the entire track together, you notice whenever certain, like the bass and maybe a couple pads you have or other instruments, whenever they're all together and they're all putting out frequencies in this range, it's, it's uh, more apparent, you know, you hear that peaking out more and it can really ruin your mix. And um, I learned this is a great way to fix it. Just you know, um, every time, as soon as you create an instrument, just uh, you know, equalize it right away. You know, whether even if you're not using you know Reason or Record like I am, this is you know universal. So if you're using Fruity Loop Studios or something like that, you can. It has a built-in equalizer as well. You can do the same thing. And that's just a quick look on equalizing your instruments. You know, there's a lot more to it than that, but this is just a basic thing. This will give you a cleaner sound. Um, you know, it, it'll uh, it'll help uh, get rid of the you know the muddy sound that I'm hearing in a lot of you know more amateur stuff. This is a, you know it's a good step forward. And um, if anyone needs help with anything else, I learned quite a bit about sound design and uh, mixing and mastering. So if you have any questions, just uh, let me know, and I can make it another video if you'd like. Thank you for watching.